Hi, this is Houston Singletary. This tutorial, we're going to go over the sidechain and the compressor effect inside Live 7. Go ahead and open up the compressor and we're going to drag it into track number two because this is going to be the track we're going to affect with a pad sound synth loop. A couple of important buttons here. I've got the sidechain on off and also my audio from pull down window. We'll be choosing that for our input source. We're going to be using a uh, kick drum source. We're going to go to these really, really cool drum machines. New library in Live 7. All kinds of classic drum machines from the 70s and 80s. And uh, we're going to take the 909 kick drum. So I already loaded it in here as an instrument. And uh, I've got a MIDI clip that I did earlier in my folder in my browser. So we're just going to have a little four on the floor loop going for a bar stop that and go back over here to this track two and this is where we want to go ahead and lay in a basic pad you can hear it right there so we're going to go ahead and take these pads that i've saved in my browser folder i'm going to drag all of these into track number two so we'll trigger clip one just a simple pad a couple of bars there's a different style third one so you get the general idea so what we want to do is affect this pad rhythmically with the side chain effect inside the compressor. So we're going to need to drive the sidechain with some source material. And where do we draw that from? We bring our audio from 909 kick drum from track one. Now let's go ahead and launch both these clips together as a scene. Great. And now let's go ahead and put some effect on the sidechain by adjusting our threshold level inside the compressor. And there you go. You can start to hear a little bit of that breathing pumping effect. Of course, we can adjust some of the parameters. We'll go ahead and bring the gain up, get a little more power. And ultimately, this is the sound that we want. But let's hear it without the kick drum as audio. Now we've just got the pad with the side chain effect in the compressor, giving us that feel that we're looking for. Sounds pretty good. Bring this threshold down a little more. Now let's round it out with a brand new drum loop just to fill out the entire groove. So we'll drag a drum loop into track number three. We'll call it E-ish drum loop. Let's go ahead and trigger the whole scene now. Scene number one. And there you go. We got the pad with the affected side chain. Applied. Bring the attack down a little bit, get a little bit tighter. We've also got gain stage over here on the far left. This allows us to bring in a little bit more of this source material. It's feeling pretty good actually, so let's change pads. Just go to a different clip, clip number two, let's try number three. Here we go. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want that kind of breathing, pumping effect coming on the pad. We can also apply this, of course, to bass sounds, vocals, entire two track material if we want. So you get a basic idea of how sidechain is working inside compressor, all inside Live 7.